Papaya is really good for you. Yeah. I've heard weird things about papaya. I don't know if I've actually tried it. I know what it is, but like papaya I. Papaya is also a meat tenderizer. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Used for meat tenderizer. Yes, okay. it could be tender. It could yeah. be you have a constipation and allergy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And it's really, apparently it's really good for women. Like but you can get that yeah. in a grocery store, right? Like a just a normal grocery yeah, store. Yeah, papaya. Yeah, yeah. You can get papaya anywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's Betty time, and I am coming to you live on January sixteenth, Monday at 3 45 p.m from my apartment floor working from home because i did go to work today i was actually feeling really nauseous this morning and i still went into work and then the power went off at the office and then i came back on and then it went off again and then we all went home to work from home for the rest of the day so i've been home for like a half hour or so now and just catching up on emails and having lunch I have been kind of feeling like icky today. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm on the floor waiting for therapy to start. This is my before therapy face. I will see you in a second for my after therapy face. I just finished therapy. I'm feeling pretty good. I actually have homework this week. She doesn't usually assign homework, but I'm gonna make a list and she knows that I am a Virgo and I'm a sucker for lists. So that's what I'm gonna do now, make a list. I'm going to pick up my lunch. I'm having a salad because I am healthy. This is what I got for lunch. I'm obsessed with how much they can put in just like one little box. Okay, I am going to Carrie's place to record a podcast episode. Let me just lock up. Our episode tonight is literally on health and fitness. And what was I craving for dinner tonight? Pizza with honey garlic sauce. Obviously, if you're not dipping your pizza in honey garlic sauce, I say this again and again and again and again, you're missing out. Today is basically over. Nothing happened today. The morning went by really fast and then the afternoon did not. Listen, this is who I am now. I went to the grocery store after work and I saw these grapes. Look how firm these grapes are. I am through the roof thrilled. I am also air frying some chicken wings for dinner, I guess. I was gonna have some cucumbers with it, like some sliced cucumber, but I don't have any ranch dip to go with it. And cucumber just isn't cucumber for me without ranch dip. Good morning. It is Thursday afternoon, actually. I am just finishing off some leftover smoothie. I made a to-go smoothie cup, which I'm really excited to take with me. This is actually a really good smoothie. It is frozen strawberries, one banana, a teaspoon of peanut butter, some of those greens powder, and peach yogurt, soy milk, and like a dash of chocolate milk just for like flavor, but it's really good. The reason I am still home on a Thursday afternoon. I didn't go to work this morning. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the week, but I have just been feeling nauseous off and on. I don't know what's going on. Um, I think it's because I switched my pill and the doctor mentioned there would be some withdrawals, but I thought it was gonna be like mood swings. I wasn't expecting <laughs> to just like feel like crap and I just feel like crap. I haven't been able to eat that much all week. This smoothie is the only thing I've eaten since like yesterday at like eight. I think I had six wings. And then Mr. All Class came over. I was feeling fine last night. Like most of the day yesterday, I felt fine. This morning I wake up and not fine anymore. So it's really unpredictable, which is annoying. And I could probably just take like a full sick day today, but I feel fine right now. Like I genuinely feel like, I don't want to say a million bucks. I feel like 80 bucks. <laughs> if that's, that's like a decent amount of money, I'd be happy with 80 bucks right now. So I feel like 80 bucks and 
I might as well go to work because I have to go to the gym today because today is the only day this week that I have time to go to the gym because I have plans with Courtney tomorrow. I have plans with another friend, Mish, on Saturday, and then I have plans with Miss Draw Class on Sunday. So, and I don't like going to the gym on the weekend anyway because I'd have to go clear downtown to go because that's where my gym is. And I forget where I was going with that, but also speaking of the gym, my, my Buzzy Besties, my podcast with Carrie, Buzzy Besties, dropped, episode five dropped today. So go check that out on Spotify and YouTube. I will link it in the description and it is on health and fitness and we talk about our gym journey. So if you're interested in that, go listen and share with all your friends. I'm home now. I just got home around eight and I went to the gym after work, which is pretty much the whole reason I went to work in the first place this afternoon, but it was still like really long day, even though I slept in, which is kind of annoying, but I did my workout, came home, made a milkshake. It's all about balance, if you ask me, but also our podcast episode about health and fitness called Health and Fitless, which we thought was funny, um, is out now, so that's really exciting, and I have been listening to an audiobook, Sporty Spice, Melanie Chisholm, I think her name is, from the Spice Girls has a memoir out. I think it came out in 2022. I forget what it's called right now, but I have been listening to it. And then I was checking my streaming services, I guess, to see if Spice World was anywhere to be found and it's not. But she did mention, uh, I guess a documentary. I don't know what to call it. A documentary called Raw Spice in her book. And then I found that one. So I'm gonna watch Raw Spice tonight. <laughs> Good morning, happy Friday. I forgot to say my lucky girl mantra this morning and I missed the bus and also was kind of running late so it's kind of my fault um but I'm gonna blame the universe this is my outfit of the day today I actually kind of like it <sighs> today has been pretty chill I was alone here at the office all day I just got through a lot of emails and kind of, I guess, got up to date on a couple things that I was waiting for responses from, but I got the responses, I followed up, all that jazz, and now it is almost five o'clock and I'm gonna go meet Courtney. We're going thrifting. I did buy, I think I said I was gonna share it last week when I went thrifting with Celine. I got a shapewear dress for $7.99. And unfortunately, it was a 2X. This is, this is it, this is her, but it did not fit. The brand is Voglo, V-O-G-L-O. -O. Made in Canada, but it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna return it since we're going, or I guess exchange it, because Value Village doesn't do returns anymore but I have my receipt so I will exchange it and hopefully find something else. I'm with Courtney and we're at Warehouse. And we're on drink two. Drink what? two. It's a Friday night. We got spin dip and potato skins. Loaded potato skins. This is the latest we've ever been out. <laughs> ever. No, we're homebodies now. <laughs> Courtney, it's not okay in this bar. we were just walking by and Courtney had to stop and like take a picture inside of the bar. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Cheers. I don't think I mentioned this earlier in the week, but as we know, I live in a basement and there's actually another apartment in the same basement, just like on the other side of the house. And she had a baby. The person who lives there had a baby like three days ago. His name is Elijah. I'm so excited to meet him. And I just thought of that right now because I can hear him crying. This is the first time I've heard him crying and it's not even that loud. So that makes me feel good because I was not gonna lie a little bit nervous being like, oh, babies do have some lungs on them, you know? 
Um, but yeah, he either hasn't been crying that much or he's just not that loud. So perfect. And honestly, if I was like watching TV or something, I probably wouldn't have even heard it, but congrats to my neighbor. I'm really excited to meet Elijah. I went thrifting last night. I got four items I'm gonna try on for a total of $23. Plus I did an exchange for $7.99. So the remaining balance was $23. But I have to try everything on to see if I have to do more exchanges maybe next week. Honestly, Value Village's new exchange policy, like you can't return anything anymore. And it's really frustrating <laughs> because sometimes when you're doing like a return you can't like I would love to do an exchange but sometimes there's just not something I want to exchange and then you either like take the L on like what you were going to return or you have to buy something that you don't necessarily want and it's honestly I just really hate that policy but what can you do so I am going to try on my four items. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is outfit number one. They both have the tags still on, the original tags. The top was $6.99 originally from Fashion Nova in a 1X and the pants are from Pretty Little Thing. I got them for $8.99 and they're a size US 18. So, um, my first thoughts are, the top is see-through, I didn't expect that. Um, these sleeves are quite long. Like, there's my hand there. I think that might get really annoying. And also, the shoulders, like, that's, they look so bad naturally. So, um, <laughs> this is how they look naturally but I would have to keep like pulling them down, I think, if I actually like wore this top out. I think it would be cuter if I did a little tie up moment, but then still the sleeves would be getting in the way, like my hand ends here. So I think I will be returning the top, which kind of sucks because I think it has potential to be cute. And then the pants, I wanted these to be work pants because I hate the pair of brown pants that I currently have. So I was planning on like upgrading to these ones when I found them, I was so excited. Um, the only problem, they fit perfect actually. I'm a size 20 um, and these are actually kind of loose, but the length, <laughs> they're so long, I don't know if you can tell, but like, they're like, of course you can't tell. They're like that much too long. So I guess I could go get them hemmed. <laughs> Cause they fit really nicely everywhere else and they're like a nice quality material. So I think I am gonna keep these, but get them hemmed. I can't wear them until I do that because I don't wear heels. This is just so funny to me. <laughs> so this outfit is actually from Shein originally. The top is a 0XL and it was $5.99. And the skirt is a 3XL and it was $6.99. And I actually really like both of these. The reason I picked out this top is because I have a black one that I wear all the time very similar to this that I thrifted. And so I think I'll get a lot of use out of this on just like a daily basis because it has like a little lace trim that I really like. And I'll just wear like a blazer or a sweater over it. Like I just think I'm gonna be able to wear it a lot. And then this skirt is, ooh, it's doing something. I love it. It's so cute. It like has a little slit. It has little ruches on the side. I just think it's like really cute. And my only other black skirt that I usually wear in the summer has like one long slit, but I've actually like accidentally stepped on it a few times and the slit keeps like getting higher and higher. And I think it was just time for like a new upgraded version. So I think this is a really cute option.
for probably in the summer. I don't see myself wearing it in the winter, but who knows? Who knows? The state of my nails is so embarrassing. Um, I'm gonna go get this shellac off and maybe get some more on, I don't know. Oh my God, I absolutely am obsessed. I got the same chrome on both hands, but with black polish on my left. And it came out this like really cool, like green color. And then this like greenish purple, I guess, over the white, but it's the same chrome. It just like comes out different colors. I love it. I'm out at Moxie's with Mish. I just got back from hanging out with Mish. This is my outfit. The jeans are thrifted. The bodysuit is thrifted. I have a little cowboy boot necklace that I think Janie got me for, I don't know, was it my birthday or Christmas last year? I don't remember, but I love it. And then I've got like some chunky gold hoops in anyway i feel cute that's what that's what i was getting at and i wore my um air force ones happy sunday i am having chicken tender leftovers from moxie's last night and i made a smoothie and i'm doing laundry that is my sunday morning it's bedtime i am already in bed but i'm gonna go to sleep shortly i just need to finish editing and upload, and then I'm good to go for another week. I didn't really do anything today. Mr. All Class was gonna come over, but um, yesterday he wasn't feeling well, and then he is sick today. So I'm not about to risk that kind of life. Like I already felt sick last week. It was a different kind of sickness, so I know it's not the same one, and I didn't give it to him or he didn't give me anything. So I know that, but um, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, I just want to feel my best next week. So I kind of just like relaxed today. I did two loads of laundry and that's about it. I didn't leave the apartment. And for once, it wasn't freezing in here. So I actually just like was at ease. Like I hate being cold and I'm cold all the time now. So I guess that's just something I have to get used to until summer comes back. But... Yeah, that was my week, I guess. And I will see you again next week. I don't really have anything planned, anything exciting planned. I guess just like another podcast episode, as always. Go check out Buzzy Besties and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And TikTok, Betty Time Thrifts on both of them. Okay, Betty Buys. Oh, and subscribe here. Obviously, I have a new video every Sunday for 2023. Betty Buys.